you're obsessed with Throne of Glass, you're gonna wanna watch this. Am I an astrologist? No, but I am the second best thing, which is a millennial who once lived in Los Angeles. Let's get into it. For the record, I'm doing these out of order, so you watch the whole thing. Thank you. Gemini, you're known for being adaptable, so obviously you're getting Lysandra. I couldn't find any proof of Dorian's birthday, but he just has like a regal vibe. Leo is it. Virgos are ultra committed and good at school. You're gonna get Little Miss Top of her healing class, Irene. Scorpio, you win. It's like my witchy bestie, Manon Blackbeak. You're a little intimidating at first, but once people break through your icy exterior, you're freaking awesome. Okay, before you get all up in arms for me greedily taking this amazing character for my own star sign, I must remind you that Aelin's birthday is May 3rd, which actually makes her a Taurus. No one is gonna be surprised when I tell you that Rowan is a Cancer. His birthday's July 16th and he's like stoic and sensitive. When I saw that Libra women are known for being elegant with a wild side, I immediately thought of Nesrin. If you're an Aquarius, chances are you're creative, but also very independent but once you love something you become very committed which is why i'm giving you sam excuse me i'm like a weep somewhere lead is curious about life in the world she's gonna be sagittarius adian is obviously an aries it's got fiery determination fenris moonbeam is committed with a capital c so made him a capricorn but supposedly kale's birthday is late winter when there's a hint of spring in the air we also know that he's like very emotional classic water sign he's also smart intuitive and adaptable pisces don't hate me but you've got kale i'm gonna go get back to my real life now